Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and that was a very Muslim. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham is in the name. Merkakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Also, shout out to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shah. And shout out to the innumerable multitude men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shout out This is your brother Kwadash coming back here with another video to the Spirit and Power Yahweh Shah. And the uh, title of this video, Lord Willing, is going to be War, uh, not World War Three, but that is coming as well but uh civil war is inevitable all right civil war is inevitable and um give me one second let me just yeah and i got that word here for uh inev inevitable uh the adjective it says uh to shun, avoid, uh, as evitable, um, inevitable is uh, unvoidable. Yep, unvoidable. Yep, that's pretty much the point, and and that's was and that's because it's unvoidable because that's is biblical prophecy. All right, what the scripture says, you know, the word of the Lord. It doesn't go out void. All right, so the Lord, everything that the Lord is putting into our mouths, you know, to speak unto the people, all right, is going to come to pass. All right, because we're not, we're not saying this for nothing. All right. And uh, let me see here. It's Isaiah 55 and 11 it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. So I'm going to read that again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. All right. And the words of Yahweh Shai is being brought forth through the mouth of the prophets. All right, like as Christian says, the Lord speaks through his prophets. All right. It says, it shall not return unto me void. Okay, something that's void. All right. Let me just go to the etymology for void. It says, un, uh, void, unoccupied, empty. Okay. That's pretty much the point. Empty. Okay, nothing. All right, so it should not return unto him void. So these these words that they're they're gonna come to pass. All right, everything that we're saying is gonna come to pass. All right, it says, but it shall accomplish that which I please. You see, so the words of the Lord. All right, they're gonna accomplish the things that that we're speaking is gonna be accomplished. All right, it's gonna happen. Okay. All right, because these are the words of the heavenly Father. It says, "And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it." You see, so the word of the Lord is going to prosper. All right, it's going to uh, it's going to blossom. All right, it's going to happen. Plain and simple, man. You can't break it down any other way. All right, the word of the Lord is going to happen. So, what's prophesied in the scriptures? All right, civil war. All right, and I'm gonna go to go to Google here. Look up. Um, I'm gonna type in meaning of civil war. It says it says a war between political fashions or regions within the same country. All right, and when you when you watch that movie Civil War. All right, it was war between the 
the military, uh, and the government, all right, civilians, all right. It was it was uh, it was division, all right, and that's what's coming to America. All right, the division is already here. All right, it's just a matter of time before it picks off. Uh, it kicks off in a major way. It says the use civil and civil war is not related to the definition of quiet or peaceable behavior. It refers to an order meaning of or relating to citizens. Civil war is between citizens of the same country. You see? All right, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, the scriptures prophesy about that. All right, your, uh, your neighbor coming up against you. All right, I'm going to um, read this here. This is uh, second, second Ezra 15, starting at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, woe is destruction. All right, because destruction is coming to this place, America, all right, and, and destruction is coming to you people, man, two-thirds of our people, and you heathens, man. It says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, all right? So any instrument of uh, to kill somebody, all right, whether it be a gun, a machete, all right, whatever, whatever the case may be, all right, the, they're going to have uh, weapons in their hands, you see, it says, for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. You see, they're going to be invading one another, all right, breaking into your house, breaking into local stores, all right, trying to steal your goods, okay? It says, for there shall be sedition, and let's get that word sedition here. Sedition is rebellion, uprising, revolt, all right? It says, concerted attempt to overthrow civil uh, civil authority, all right? So, so uh, it says civil or religious disorder riot, okay? So, they're not going to regard the police officers, all right? They're, that's not going to be a factor in the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? These governors, presidents, whatever the case may be, all right? These uh, so-called celebrities, and their statuses won't mean anything in that time, Okay? Only thing that's going to matter, all right, is a hey, are you did you serve the Lord or not, all right? When, 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 uh, when things was quote unquote good, like it is now, are you using this time now to, to seek Yahweh Bashim Shai to build your relationship up with the Heavenly Father, all right? If not, you're gonna not gonna be protected when 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 these things uh reach its peak, okay. When danger reaches its peak in America, you won't be protected unless you have a relationship, all right, with Yahweh Bashim al Shah, all right, and knowing the true names of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, all right, so an uprising, a revolt, okay, civil war, okay, it says, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, they're going to have roadblocks, military uh, protecting each city. All right, you know, you want to travel to another city, hey, hey, it's going to be difficult in that time, man. Right? Scripture says, You shall uh, desire to hear another man's voice and shall not be able, man. Right? All right, and, and that movie Civil War, what they had, they had roadblocks. All right, uh, they had people driving cars. We had a whole bunch of cars, just uh, abandoned roads blocked off because of abandoned cars. It was just, uh, it was, uh, it was complete anarchy. And it was complete. 
it was just it was like the end of it was like the end of the world all right you know and it's going to be worse than what you see in these movies man all right because all right because it's a time like never before like the scriptures say i'm gonna grab that real quick this is uh daniel 12 12 and 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince was standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. All right, so a time like never before. All right, so Esau Edom, he can't realistically uh, have a movie based on Jacob Trouble. He can, you know, but whatever you see on that movie is gonna be is gonna be worse. All right, because it's a time like never before. Okay. You know, we can only uh, describe how bad it's going to be, but it's going to be it's going to be terrible out here, man. OK, that's why by the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. All right. So only the elect is going to be delivered on the elect is going to be protected. OK, going back to second Ezra 15 and 18 says, for because of their pride, the, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Man. All right, hey, what it says in Jeremiah 30. I'm going to grab that real quick. Every man on their hands. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and verse... It's Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness, man. So these men out here, they're gonna be they're gonna be wailing, they're gonna be crying, all right? They're gonna be as women, all right, when they're in labor. Okay? Complete agony. Ah, Screaming, you know, when a woman's in labor, they're screaming, they're pushing, they're crying, all right. You know, they get that. It's it's a tough time, you know. That's how these men are gonna be out here in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right. They're gonna go through those. Uh, they're gonna go through those tough times, man. All right, because how it is now, these people, they don't know what it's like. They don't know. You know what it's like. They don't. They don't know the fear of the Lord. That's what it is. They don't have the fear of Yah Bashim Al Shai. So the Lord has to put the fear on them. All right. All right. By them going through uh, a very gruesome time. Okay. Verse eighteen, second Isaiah fifteen and eighteen. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. You see, so it ain't no more, you know, going outside and meeting your friendly neighbor. All right. Hey, your neighbor is going to try to rob you, kill you for a slice of bread, man, for a can of beans. OK, it's going to be that serious out here. You see, it says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. All right. So that's that's the times that we're coming into. All right, and I'm gonna grab this. I seen it was a lot of this in the movie as well. This is Second Ezra, uh, sixteen, and I'm gonna start at verse uh, twenty-one. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. All right, and hey, that's why these people think to themselves to be in good case now. But hey, things are—it's already happening now. All right, inflation, man, prices going up. All right, in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, hey, a slice of bread is like that's like a million dollars, man. All right, a whole loaf of bread, man, that's like a million dollars in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You see, it says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth 
swore famine and great confusion and that's what's happening now all right evils has continued to grow upon this place all right but these people are blinded they're not being they're not able to see it it says for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy you see it says for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish a famine, all right, so the lack of food, water, all right, lack of resources. It says, and the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. Are you going to be you're gonna be shot down? Are you going to be chopped up? You know, you're going to be mauled by wild beasts, all right? You're going to be hit by a missile, or however, how to, however the Lord wants you to be destroyed, all right? If, if the famine don't get you, hey, the Lord got many other ways to take you out. It says, and the dead shall be cast out as dung. You see? And that's how it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of dead bodies. All right, so get used to you walking around. And hey, you may have your little children with you, man. All right? And they're going and walking through dead bodies with you, man. It's going to be real out here. It says, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted and the cities shall be cast down. You see? All right, hey, so you, you see the times that we're coming into, all right? We see the times that we're coming into via these scriptures, man, all right? Measure the time diligently in itself, okay? All right, and we measure the time through prophecies, man. Dead bodies going to be laid out here like nothing, man, all right? Cast out as dung, man. Dung is feces, poop, Okay? Verse 24, there, there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them. The grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them. For all places shall be desolate of men. You see, it's going to be it's going to be a ghost town and a lot of cities. All right. Nobody's going to be taking care of the grass. All right. Mowing the lawn. None of that, man. All right. No more uh, cleaning up the trash, picking up garbage. This place is going to be filthy as well, man. All right. This place is already filthy and it's under uh, quote unquote order. Esau has his garbage men coming up, picking up the trash, thing in that source. This place is still filthy. How much more in the time of Jacob's trouble? Verse 27 it says, So that one man shall desire to see another. And to hear his voice, you see, so hey, hey, that's why it's important to take advantage of the brotherhood now. All right, because hey, it's going to come in a time where you're going to desire to hear another man's voice. All right, and what? You shall not be able. All right. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the point, man. All right, civil war. Is it's it's inevitable, man. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable, man. All right, you can't you can't avoid it. All right, it's bound to happen. All right, it's either, it's either you're ready or you're not. It's either going to be delivered or you're going to be destroyed. You know, hey, but hey, we trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Whoever called upon Yah the Lord and was confounded. All right, these are all comforting scriptures for the time that we're coming into. All right, if you hey, if you get diligence to make a call and luck and sure, if you if you shall do these things, you shall never fall. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect and the nation of Israel. I'm gonna close with that. Give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostle and that was a great millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson I say shalom and above all shalom.